Yes, the title of the video is true. I built a $50,000 per month profit coaching business and I did it in just four months from the day that I started my coaching business. And I was able to do this with a team of two people, 85% profit margins. I slept for eight hours every single night. I've taken over 50 flights in the last six to 12 months. I got married and that was in the first four months. We bought a house, we renovated the house and we took a five week honeymoon in Bali during those first four months. I know it sounds pretty crazy, but it is true. And it is possible to build a $50,000 a month profit coaching business while still living a life that you actually love. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to basically build a lifestyle design coaching business that not only spits off amazing cash flow, gets client results, but allows you to live a life you actually want to live. I'm also gonna cover how to build a loyal tribe of people and followers that absolutely love what you do and how I did all of this with a following of like 10 to 15,000 people. Now my following is a little bit bigger, but at the time I didn't have a very big following at all. And I used what's called the social funnel. So I'm also gonna give you the blueprint for how that works so you can consistently get five to 15 clients every single month, kind of on autopilot. Once you set up the social funnel, it's pretty much done. So how are you going to stand out from the thousand other how to make money online or how to get in shape or how to grow your business coaches? Because trust me, there are a lot of people offering the same exact thing you are, and you need to find a way to stand out in 2024. Otherwise, you'll get drowned out with the other people that also have 10 client guarantees, or you'll lose 20 pound guarantees with their fitness offer. So who is this for, and who's it not for? Well, this video is gonna be for you if you want a lifestyle cash flow business that has 30 to 50,000 a month in profit initially, and then you can slowly grow it from there to potentially 80 to $100,000 a month in profit. You also probably actually wanna get client results. You don't just wanna sign people up into a one-time program or course and then say, see you later. You probably actually wanna work with clients and get them real tangible results. You haven't started your coaching business yet, but you have the skills in order to coach, or you already have a few coaching clients and you just wanna figure out how to actually structure this to be able to scale it and make consistent revenue and profit pretty much every single month. And lastly, you just want the most simple, efficient way to get there. You don't wanna have 10 offers and 10 different ways of serving clients and have to do all this stuff. Like you just want the simplest, most efficient way to get to 30 to 50,000 a month in true take home profit in your bank account every single month. This video definitely will not be for you. If you wanna build a 50 million a year or 10 million a year top line business with 10% profit margins, a high stress business with a million employees that I have to manage every day, and you wanna work 14 hours a day, screw your personal life and just focus on business and maybe one day you'll sell it for $100 million and be Alex Ramosi. This video is not gonna be for you. Now, who the heck am I and why am I credible to say any of this? Well, my name is Grayson Lupus and three years ago, I started as a marketing director at a real estate firm down in Arizona. I was actually going to college at the time in Arizona and I decided to work a full-time job while I was in college as their marketing director. I started off as an intern and then eventually was offered a six-figure salary at the age of 19 years old at this real estate firm to be their full-time marketing director. I ended up actually turning down the six-figure salary that summer, which I could have stayed there during the summer and worked there. I decided to buy a course instead on how to start a marketing agency, and that was my first ever online business. Within eight months, I ended up scaling that marketing agency to $50,000 per month, and at that point, I was running my agency for a little bit longer after that, and about a year into it, I fully decided to just shut the whole thing down and go all in on coaching. I kind of figured my agency was doing great things. We were kind of doing content and paid ads for clients, but it wasn't making the impact and the deep impact I actually wanted to make. So I shut it all down. I called all my clients. I canceled their subscriptions and I started my coaching business that day. And my first ever month that I was doing any sort of coaching, I made $20,000 and it was all profit versus my agency where if I made $20,000, maybe five to 8,000 of that would have been actual take home profit. And on top of that, like I actually got client results. The people I was working with, I was helping them scale their agencies initially. So that was my first ever coaching offer was helping other agency owners start and scale their own marketing agency online, just like I did. And I actually ended up scaling my coaching program pretty far. We passed the seven figure run rate mark, which is just over $80,000 a month in top line revenue in my first four months of launching the coaching offer. And we passed over $100,000 a month within five months of launching my coaching offer, starting from absolute zero. And that was great. But then I started to hate my coaching business because then I started building a massive team. I mean, we had a team of two appointment setters, two closers, a media buyer, two or three video editors. I had a client success manager. I was about to hire another client success manager. 
I had an assistant and my team just got way too big and way out of control, but we were hitting all the top line revenue markers so I could tell everybody online, I make 120 or I make $130,000 a month, but I hated my life. I was stuck on sales calls all day long. I was selling clients that I didn't really even enjoy working with and I was spending 30 or $40,000 a month on paid ads. And I figured there had to be a better way to grow my coaching business versus just working all day long, 14, 15 hours a day, and not actually able to grow in my personal life and do things outside of business that I wanted to do. So when I started my coaching business, the first four months, like I said, I was working 10 to 15 hours a week, and the rest of the time I was in Bali hanging out with my, my new wife, or I was building this house that I live in now, and I got to actually do things outside of business, and I loved my business, but it didn't kick off the amount of profit that I wanted it to. And then the four months after that, I built this massive team and so many people to manage, and I ended up hating it because there were so many people and so much going on that I couldn't actually be good at one or two things. So after doing a 10 to 15 hour work week type of model that didn't really make the amount of cash flow I wanted to make, and then after trying building this massive team and scaling past $100,000 a month, I finally have discovered the coaching business model that not only allows you to have the profit you want every single month, but actually gets client results, and you only need one to two team members, which allows you to have extremely high profit margins so that every single month, you know that the majority of the revenue you make is going to be profit. The new way of doing things allows me to build a loyal tribe of people on the internet to build my own niche of one, my own corner of the internet, where people didn't even compare me with other coaches. People just saw me as Grayson, the only option of the person that they wanted to work with. I didn't have to spend crazy amounts of money on ads in order to actually build a consistent loyal following and get sales calls on my calendar consistently, or literally just sell people inside of Instagram DMs, which is what I personally do. I don't even take sales calls or have a sales team. People just buy via Instagram DMs, and I didn't have to have any like crazy guarantees or some sort of like super salesy approach in order to sign clients up. People worked with me because they wanted to work with me and it was consistent and predictable. I knew exactly how many new followers I was gonna get every single month. I knew exactly how many calls I was gonna have on my calendar and I knew exactly how many clients I was gonna close. So what the heck is it? I'm gonna cover four things. Number one, I'm gonna cover the actual model, meaning like what does your business model look like and how do the ins and outs of the business actually work? Second, I'm gonna cover the social funnel, which is the funnel that I use to get attention online consistently, stand out from other people, and consistently close five to 15 clients each month. Third, I'm gonna cover the team that you need to scale to 50,000 a month in profit. And fourth, I'm gonna show you five examples of real life coaches and people that I've worked with that have followed these steps and systems and what they've achieved inside of their coaching business and how they've actually done it. First is the model. And to get to just 30 to 50,000 a month in profit, I call this the 30 clients model. Now, depending on your price point and what you can actually charge, depending on like your market and who you work with, you really only initially need 30 solid clients to get to that 30 to $50,000 per month range. And what I tell most people is to work with their first 30 clients in a more intimate setting. So don't just throw a bunch of new people into some group coaching program that you're not super involved in, where they're not gonna get results and where you don't answer their questions consistently. I'm in the business of helping other people that actually wanna get their clients results because we focus on getting our clients results. And so what I recommend everybody start with is the 30 clients model where you sign up 30 clients whether it's a consistent one-on-one -on -one call cadence or whether they just have one-on-one -on -one access to you. And this is where you're gonna start building an actual community. There's three key C's that you need with your first kind of coaching model. The first is coaching. Now this could come from a one-on-one -on -one kickoff call or even a more consistent one-to-one -one cadence. Most people are scared to do one-on-one -on -one coaching because they think it's gonna take all their time and freedom and they're not gonna have time to actually run a coaching business or live life. If you have 30 one-on-one -on -one clients and you do bi-weekly 30 minute calls, meaning calls every two weeks, for 30 minutes, that's a total of 30 hours per month, which is eight hours a week of coaching. So if you coach from 8 a.m. to noon on Tuesday morning and on Thursday morning, that's all the coaching you'll do. And keep in mind, that is for a 30 to 50,000 a month in profit coaching business. And over time, you can slowly decrease the amount of hours you coach by developing your group program, but I never recommend people start with a group or community-based program. I would much recommend you start with a one-on-one -on -one program so you can actually get clients results. The second C is community. Now, as you start to get clients in consistently, you need to develop a community. The reason someone pays for a program or a community initially is because they want a result. They wanna lose body fat, they wanna find their dream girl, or they wanna finally make 10K a month or 100K a month or whatever it might be. They're hoping to get the promise of the result that your program provides. The only reason people are going to stay month after month after month 
is if there's an actual community. There is a reason that people like to train together. And there's a reason that teams operate at team practices. People don't all just go practice by themselves. Being a part of a community where everybody is shooting for the same goal is so, so powerful. Having a tribe of people all around you all shooting for the same thing and all supporting each other. You need to start developing a community. And the third thing is content. Typically, to go with some sort of program, you need developed course content. Now, what a lot of people do is try and build this massive course with 100 modules before they ever launch. When I launched my first coaching offer, I didn't have a single course module filmed. And I would not recommend anybody else to have a full course built out either before launching the program. The way that I build all my course content is I just take all the common questions my clients ask on calls or on group calls, and then I go make a course module if I ever get a question twice. But if you go build a massive course today and you think that all the value of what you sell is gonna be in the course, you are extremely mistaken. Because if you think the value of your program is gonna be in some course and not in the service aspect, the coaching, the community, then people are just gonna go watch YouTube videos and they're not gonna buy your stuff. And if they do buy your stuff, they're never going to keep buying from you and pay you month after month because I'm in the business of wanting to build a recurring revenue business, not just one where people buy a one-time program and then I never talk or see them again. Now let's move on to the second piece. How do we actually get clients? Well, I implement with pretty much every single one of my clients what I call the social funnel. There's four key parts to the funnel. There's getting attention. The second thing is capturing their attention. The third thing is having a conversation with them. And the fourth thing is converting them. You basically need one mechanism for each of these four things, no matter what funnel you're pursuing. But in 2024, the social funnel is pretty much the best funnel in existence to consistently get five to 15 clients each month. There's pretty much one key mechanism for how to get attention, and that's to run profile visit ads on Instagram. Now, the reason we run profile visit ads is because if you just post organic content or if somebody out there is like, just post content and cross your fingers, you're going to have extremely inconsistent revenue every single month, and you for sure are not gonna be able to consistently sign five to 15 clients. Unless you have a massive following of a million people, it's gonna be really freaking hard to consistently get new clients each month if you just do organic, which is why we run paid ads on Instagram called profile visit ads to consistently get us attention each month. Now, the second step is capturing their attention. What we do to capture their attention is two things. Number one, we actually get them to follow us on Instagram. When they follow us, that's somebody that we can actually contact and have a conversation with inside of Instagram DMs. And if they followed us, they most likely have an interest in at least one thing that we do or at least they're interested in like who we are and our offer. And the second way we capture their attention is through what's called lead magnets. We basically use lead magnets to capture people's emails. And once we have their emails, we now have their data and we can send them consistent emails and have them on a newsletter and get them to book in a call through email as well. Now, there's a few other things that go into like actually getting people to want to get on a call with you and be interested in you and the stuff that you sell. But I'm not covering that in this video. I have plenty of videos that cover things like that. The third key mechanism is to have a conversation. Now, what a lot of people do is they'll just put a link in their bio or put a link in the description and say, hey, go book in a call. But what happens is that number one, the people don't actually show up at the calls. Number two, you can't qualify those people to make sure that they're actually a good fit and they have money to be able to work with you. So what we do instead is we actually have a conversation with them via Instagram DMs. So we basically have a back and forth conversation where we qualify them, make sure they're a good fit, and then get them to book in a call on our calendar. And then what I do is I will just close people inside of Instagram DMs. So I don't even take a sales call because people are pretty much nurtured to the point where they can just pay via Instagram DMs for our program, which is, keep in mind, like multiple four figures. And the last part is you need a sales process. You need conversion. Whether for you that's getting them on a sales call and closing them and onboarding them, or whether it's closing them in the DMs, you need a sales process that's consistent and predictable. So that's the social funnel in a nutshell. Again, I have more videos covering this stuff in detail, but the third key thing is the team required to get to $50,000 per month in profit. You see, most people think they need an appointment setter and a closer and a full-time video editor and an assistant and a client success manager. The reality is like you could work probably 10 to 20 hours per week with one virtual assistant. And that is pretty much the entire team that you need to get to 50,000 a month in profit. The math is simple. If you have 30 clients paying you $1,000 a month, you'll have a 30,000 a month coaching business. If you have 30 clients paying you $2,000 per month, you'll have a 60,000 a month coaching business. And typically we only spend about five to 10% of our total revenue on ads. And so if you're making 30,000 a month in your coaching business with your 30 clients, then you're probably taking home at least 25,000 a month in profit. And if you're making 60,000 a month in your coaching business, you're probably taking home at least $50,000 a month in 
profit. We like to keep our team very lean so we don't have very many people to manage because the more people you have to manage, the more time you're gonna spend each week managing them and we like to keep our overhead low. We wanna keep our margins high and our overhead low and our time spent wisely and efficiently. Now, I'm not the only one that has used this stuff to get results. I'm not the only one that has used this same 30 clients model in the social funnel in order to actually get results. In fact, one of my clients, Johnny, implemented this funnel and the first month that he did, he made $50,000 in cash collected and within three months, he had an $88,000 cash collected month coaching life insurance agents. And that was literally starting from zero dollars and never signed a client in his entire life. That's how powerful this stuff is. Or Safe, who closes deals via the DMs, doesn't even take sales calls anymore. And he had a $57,000 cash collected month, six months after starting his coaching business. Or Peter, who had a marketing agency, working with tax advisors, who then started a coaching business and he was able to hit his first ever $65,000 month with his consulting business, whereas when his agency, I think his biggest month was $12,000. Now, I could keep going because there's plenty of people. You can go to the Our Clients playlist on my YouTube channel and check out pretty much a lot of the clients that I've worked with, or you can get on our email list down below and we're always sending what's working for our clients right now to our email list. So if you're watching this video and you also want to build a 30 to 50,000 a month profit coaching business, I'm gonna go down below and I want you to follow me on Instagram and DM me. I don't really care what word you DM me, you can DM me anything and we can have a conversation and talk about what it would look like to help you finally get your coaching business off the ground or help you scale it to 30 to 50,000 a month in profit using the systems that I just walked through today. I hope you enjoyed the video, peace out.